Section 5.4, Inverses of Function. In this section, we're going to look at the inverses of the relations inverse function and the horizontal line test and finding the inverse of the function. For the inverses of relations, we call the relation, we use the notation R, which is the set of the order pairs in the form of A, B. The notation for the inverse of the R, we use R with the superscript negative 1 or the set of B, comma A. Another way we say that, we just swap the x and y coordinate. Inverses functions and the horizontal line test. A function f is 1 to 1 if for every pair of distinct elements x1, y, x1, x2 in the domain of the f, we have fx1 not equal to fx2. So that means if you have different x values, those different x values will not have the same y values. If the graph of the f is available, f is 1 to 1, if and only if its graph passes the horizontal line test, that means every horizontal line in the plane intersects the graph no more than once. Let f be a 1 to 1 function and assume that f is defined by a formula. The inverse of the f denoted by f to the superscript negative 1. Make sure the f to the negative 1 here is not 1 over f or the reciprocal of the f. The inverse f to the superscript negative 1 or this notation of the function f is also the function if and only if f is 1 to 1. For the example, consider the following relation r in the set of the order pair negative 7, 1, 1, negative 1, 6, 8, 2, 8, we're going to find the inverse, express the answer as a set of order pairs. So the inverse of this relation in the notation of the R with the superscript negative 1 equals a set of the order pair. The first order pair, negative 7, 1. Now we got the order pair 1, comma, negative 7 for the inverse of, the, of this relation. The next one will be negative 1, 1. The next can be 8, comma, 6. And the last one going to be 8, comma, 2. In part B, we're going to find domain and range of the inverse. Express your answer as a set of the numbers. So the domain is a set of the first coordinate. With the domain of the inverse of this relation is the set of the first coordinate, which is 1, negative 1, 8, and 8. When we have 8 repeated. We don't have to write it twice, so we take it away. So we got the domain of the inverse of this relation. And similar for the range of this inverse of the relation, going to be the set of the second coordinate. The negative 7, 1, 6. Use. So the next one, we are going to determine whether the inverse of the relation of function, that means when you have x1 not equal to x2, f x1, not equal to f of x2. That's the concept of the way to determine whether the relation is a function or not. So in this case, we don't have any two x values that share the same function value. Or you can use the diagram to help you identify 1, negative 1, 8, and for the range, the set of negative 7, 1, 6, and 2, 1, and negative 7, 1, negative 1, and 1, 8, and 6, 8, and 2. We don't have any 2x values that share the same function value or the y value. So that means this is the function.